Ah. Ah. Sorry about that. These old Fox Buddy seats are so comfy. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Check out my new throne. I've had these seats for a really long time. They've been sitting in a box. I had no idea what the hell to do with them. Here we go. I decided that I'd make a, a nice bench in my garage. Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, here we go. Check this out. So these seats are out of an 86 Mustang LX. And I have had them literally. There's the box right there. I've literally had them underneath here forever. After after my mice endeavor last week, I decided I need to do something with these before they get ruined. So you can see I had them upside down on top of each other. So this is kind of smashed in a little bit from the headrest. Like I had this one upside down on this one, vice versa. Still super comfortable. They're in great shape. And all I did is build a little stand. You can see I got four by four posts and I got some two bys back there and there go all the way across and I got this I didn't realize I put it on crooked but uh, that's a little foot rest for it yeah works out really good it's comfy and um, if you really want to recline it back all the way all you gotta do is like right now there you can see they're scooted forward all the way so if you sit on it right now center of gravity is right here you can lay all the way back so they're still pretty comfy anyway not the point of the video, but I figured I'd at least show you guys. I think it turned out pretty nice. Nice little garage chair. Anyway, so the whole point of this video, if you guys remember the last video I made, the rear axle uh, bearing on the driver's side had blown out. So for those of you that don't remember, here we go. You can see the... Here's the seal, clearly, bearing what's left of it, and look at that. Yep. So what I'm doing is, I've needed to upgrade my axle for a little while. If, if you guys follow my build at all, you know that this is a 408 cleaver. It has a little bit of a giggle gas on it. You can see through the back window there. And also, I've got a blower for it. So this thing, my goal is over a thousand at the wheels really soon. Um, with that, that other rear end would not have held up very well. So I would have needed to upgrade it more. It's 31 spline axles. I didn't have the longer wheel studs like I needed. Um, didn't have much in the form of a girdle or anything else on it. So I would have needed to upgrade it more. I didn't have C-clip eliminators on it. Um, what else? Basically, I needed it stronger. So, eh, good or bad, regardless, I now have this. I know it doesn't look that glorious. However, you can clearly tell the beefiness of those axles. You can tell the wheel studs on there. These are a Masterline Performance Axle by Mark Williams. Brakes look fairly new. It's got 373 gears. It's got a nice diff cover on it. The axle tubes are welded. Um, it's got the C-clip eliminator kits on it already. So it's a full spool, 373 gears, 33 or 5 spline axles, studs. I mean, it's it's built. It's ready to go. Um, it's got the, the rear diff cover with the bearing cap supports on it. I mean, this thing is ready to rock. And I am super, super excited that I got this thing. So I picked it up from uh, some local guys. It was a good deal. Um, it was, it was just, it was time. It was the right time. So what I'm going to do is go through and clean this axle. I'm going to swap it in with the other one. The only thing that I'm going to have to do is I'll need new lug nuts because obviously it's got the extended studs for drag racing. 
because you're supposed to have the studs extend through the end of the lug nut. So I'm going to have to get some new rear lug nuts. Not a huge deal. But I think it's time to start uh, cleaning this bad boy up. I'm going to get some, uh, probably throw some paint on it. And then we'll see what it's like. But I'm super excited. Oh, and it's also got these spherical bushings in it. I don't have those in my car, but it, it's got the spherical bushings in it also. It's, uh, it's obviously been sitting for a little bit. Um, so what I want to do is pull the rear diff cover. I want to make sure that uh, it's got good fluid in it and that the level's good. I'll, I actually probably I don't even need to pull the cover. This is the nice thing about these. It's got a drain plug on it. So I don't even need to drain it. So, or I mean, I don't even need to pull the cover to drain it. I'm just going to pull that, that bolt. We'll check the fluid, and then I'll fill it up. I'll call it good. So I'm excited. I'm going to get this bad boy in the car, and then go from there after I clean it. Let's get to it. So, uh... <laughs> just accidentally did a live stream so if you caught that the first 35 seconds of it are me not realizing oh hey i'm doing a live stream so uh yeah sorry about that <laughs> oh well at any rate i talked about the rear axle um still cleaning it up i also talked about maybe wanting to put something like some red in here kind of like i've got with the trick flow there so i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna clean this up and then Maybe try to get uh, maybe try to get some red in there. I don't know. I just think it'd look good and set it off a little bit. And I gotta try to get some of this mast out of there. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm gonna keep cleaning. You guys keep watching. Enjoy your virus-free social distancing experience, which is YouTube as a whole, basically. Alright, the old rear end is all taken out pretty much. The only thing I gotta do is scoot it out of here and then uh, we'll be ready to put the the new one in. So I got all the bolts off, all the brake lines are disconnected. Everything's just hanging out for now. Um, so I'm gonna call it quits for now. It is. <laughs> Late, early, depending on how you look at it. This one I got cleaned up, I got painted. So I'm just gonna put some red on there. So after all this stuff dries, I'll try to see what I can do with it. Right now, still kind of tacky, so Let's see. Now I decided to use the same kind of wrinkle paint that I used on the rest of the engine. Because I had it left. So it's this stuff here. So I'm really, really curious to see how that ends up. It is now the next day getting this axle in. And I am very happy with how things are going. So for now, there's a couple of issues I've run into. You can see. The paint I used was that wrinkle paint, and that's awesome. I'm really digging that. Um, I did put some red on that. Turned out okay. I shot a clear on it, too, just to kind of keep it from, from coming off. But the issues that I have are minimal at best. <laughs> nothing crazy. But they're out here. So when it comes to the brakes, um, I've got um, the same setup that's on here, sorry. Um, but uh, the setup is fine. The issue with the brakes is going to be that the lug nuts, and it's not even with the brakes, my apologies. So the issue that I'm having is that I don't have these longer, um, that I don't have the pass-through lug nuts. So what I'm going to end up doing is cutting off the end of the lug nuts that I have now. That way they're all the same they're all the same style. They're all the spline type, they're all black and it'll it'll work really good. So that's the only issue that I'm I'm having right now. Otherwise, 
it's been a breeze. Um, everything's bolted in. You can see I got all the upper and lower control arms. They're all on. Um, I've got to do a little bit with getting the uh, the brake line stuff mounted up. I opted not to use the other calipers just because, like I said, they're the same. So i got to clean up the ones that I got. I've got a new set of rotors and pads that are going on with this also. So that part I'm excited about. And then it's going to be testing to see how I like a spool on the street. I've actually had a lot of comments on the last video. So when I initially said, hey, I'm going to have a, an axle with a spool, and I got a lot of comments that, oh, it's going to, how's it going to be on the street? You're going to hate it, blah, blah, blah. This is a race car. <laughs> Let's be honest. So this car, I've needed to do an axle upgrade again for a while, especially with the power levels we'll be pushing this year. Um, and I really, it is what it is. You know, I know that sometimes with the spool, if you turn too tight, you can have some um, chirping of the wheels, some, I mean, it is what it is. You have to be willing to understand what you're getting into. I'm fully aware of how a spool is going to drive on the street, and I'm okay with it, but I guess there's some people that might not understand, right? Like tight turns, tight radiuses with a spool on the street is not what you want to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get to putting all the brake stuff on. I'm going to try to get the, uh, the lug nuts all modified. And I want to take this out and take it for a drive. I'm really curious to see how the 373s are going to be in comparison to the 355s I had before. So let's get to it. Well, the rear end is in. And you can see I was trying to put my brakes on. And I found something rather disturbing. So I was going to slap this together and have it done today. Unfortunately, with... <laughs> With the extra heat that, uh, that that saw. I don't know if you can see that or not. So you can see right there where the rotor contacted this. And I was trying to push this piston back in. And this thing has just seen so much heat with, with how it failed when I was driving. So um, this thing's shot. I was able to get the piston in, but then... You can clearly see the, you can clearly see right there that that's a little damaged. So that guy's toast, and then the actual caliper bracket is toast as well. So here's the bracket. You can see right there. Look at that, that, that little piece. That is this. See how this one doesn't move at all? There's nothing, and this one will move. So, and you can see right there, see the discoloration? I had these both painted. See how it discolored there? It got so hot with that rotor riding on there. Look at that. So this is this bracket is shot. So, got a spare bucket with some, uh, some spare ones. So these guys are gonna get cleaned up and painted and put on. So, it's a good thing I kept some spares. But I didn't want to didn't want to have to do it now. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. The next video will be me getting the brakes on. Um, we'll be going for a test drive. We'll have to bed the brakes, and uh, we'll see how the spool is. First time me actually driving one, but my expectations, we already covered that earlier. So have a good one, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. We'll see you on the next video.